because you have uh, Trump going on Theo, mm -hmm. uh, Dave Ramsey here yep. in town. You've talked to him. And then you got uh, like the Nelk boys he's yeah. gone on. And then you got, and then Kamala goes, goes on Caller Daddy and, and a lot of, what do, you, what do you make of podcasters, regular people, being influential in the election of the free world do you, it, versus like the era of Tom Brokaw. He was the only one yeah. allowed to. Do you think that's good or bad? I think it's good. The because regular people, they're going I, well, on regular people. I think people's what it spots. represents, like let's use 60 minutes as an example. Yeah. They talked to Kamala Harris for 45 minutes. They only aired 20 minutes of it, and it yeah. might well have been edited in a strong way. Yeah. I do three hours of daily radio. We yeah. post a transcript of the entire show. Yeah. I would hope none of this is going to be edited. It'll go out for better or worse. <laughs> and people will be able to watch it and listen to yeah. it in totality. Yeah. I think whether it's, you know, the podcast on either side, my opinion is what is desperately desired now is not agreement, it's authenticity. Yeah. I agree. And I think what the podcast universe um, has created, and I would say the internet universe in general, is people don't watch your comedy because they agree with everything you say, yeah. but they think you're being an authentic version of yourself. That's a good way to say that. And I yeah. think that's why people watch or listen to what I say. Yeah. And I think what the politicians, who oftentimes are very inauthentic, yeah. are trying to do is draft off of the authenticity of the interviewer. Yeah to create something better for them. And, and I'll just say this. One reason I love long form is I think it's hard to listen to somebody for very long yep. and not like them. I've said that about every guest we've had in here. Mm -hmm. I always want to be like, let's go on tour together or let's after an hour, mm -hmm. you go, that's my guy or that's a, she's my best friend. Whereas if you cut two minutes of this interview, yeah. somebody or any interview, yeah. It's an inauthentic version of the larger conversation. You say, listen to the whole thing. Yeah. I always yeah. say, yeah. like, I hate taking stuff out of context. Yeah. Listen to the whole thing. And I think there's a desperate demand for authenticity. Yeah. What I say to my team all the time at Outkick is what I found works is smart, original, funny, and authentic. Everything we yeah. do, I call it SOFA because yeah. it's an acronym. Yeah. If you can hit on all four, it's a home run. Yeah, but I if like you can't that. get yeah. at least one of the four, yeah. we shouldn't do it. Throw it out. Yeah. Um, and I think that the internet is a great test, yeah. uh, weighing test, and everybody's competing for time, yeah, and attention, yeah. everybody's busy, yeah. and who do you want to spend time with? Yeah. And I think smart, original, funny, and authentic wins over time. And then if you have somebody come up, if whatever candidate or whoever position of power comes to a pod and they say, well, we need to approve that before it airs. That they kind of they like the idea of authenticity, but like I remember, I've I've gone on pods where like, I mean, you, you kind of clip that in a little bit of a disingenuous way, but that's part of the game. Yeah, that's part of going on. So you go Trump or Kamala say, hey, we'll come on your pod, but we the sixty minutes. You go yeah. well immediately when Theo had a pod with Roseanne or something, it got taken down. Yeah, and I immediately go, well, I want to listen to it. Yeah. So if Trump, if the sixty minutes was 60 minutes and they aired 25 what do i say what's the other 20 well, yes what's the other that's what i want to hear and, and then, why do they not want and you let to see me, or hear that let me yes. decide if i think that the interviewer was being disingenuous or i'll decide but when you say the public that was being in coven we got to finish but the, when they say you the public can't know this yeah. information that's very disrespectful it also defeats the entire purpose of a democracy oh, yeah, because yeah, the yeah. entire purpose of our nation is everybody hears every argument yeah. and then we show up and decide which argument we like the best. So yeah, when yeah, you're telling me yeah. you're not allowed to hear the whole argument, that is going to defeat our overall decision making. There's no foundation like they to would, start. Like it's happening less. But they would edit. Like, I remember we had Senator Rand Paul. We had Donald Trump on. I've interviewed yeah. Trump 10 times now. Wow. They took down our interviews on YouTube. Who? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. And I'm saying to myself, okay, the entire purpose of democracy, these guys are running for office. Yeah. You should want to hear everything they say. And then you can decide if they're a if heretic like them or, or whatever. Not, you, right? yeah, you should want but them to. Yeah. When you are saying, hey, you shouldn't be able to hear this, yeah. you're actually destroying the larger marketplace of ideas. Yeah. I want, I've got a crazy idea. 
I want as much out there as possible. Yeah, we'll decide. And then we'll decide what we think yeah. is the appropriate outcome. 